I had a feeling they might bowl first, just with the overcast and day one and pink ball and um, yeah, the, their bowlers sort of they do thrive in those conditions of most situations. So it wasn't surprising. Um, but at the end of the day, whatever you do, whether you bowl first or bat, um, you got to do it well. Whatever team does it well, it's usually on top. And I wouldn't say um, we're streaks and beyond on top, but I think we're pretty happy with four for 200 um, at the end of the day. But um, it's going to be important how we bat tomorrow. So um, I think tomorrow's a big day for us. It looked like it was um, extremely heated between particularly Smith and um, a couple of the England bowlers out there. Is that how you saw it being out there as well? Um, yeah, I honestly couldn't hear a lot of it. And I think, I don't know what the crowd was today. It was quite loud in the middle. I was at the other end. It obviously looked like there was a bit of banter going on. Um, from my end, it just looked like it switched Stephen Smith on a little bit. So uh, I wasn't sure whether to to let him go or to bring him back in, but he was quite enjoying being out there. So, um, you know, he played, he was, we, we were getting a partnership. So I was pretty happy with how things going. You don't often see batters going back that much? Yeah, the man over 61, he can do whatever he wants, can't he? <laughs> yeah, there's not many, not many players in the world who, who would do that. Is, yeah, is that the most fired up and most animated you've seen, Steve? No, look, he was switched on. He was playing really good cricket. Um, there was a bit of banter going on for both sides, but it didn't seem too out of the norm. All the chat I heard wasn't too bad either, so it was good old-fashioned test cricket, Ashes cricket. It was entertaining. Um, I think that's all it was, really. Can you talk us through a couple of moments in your innings? First of all, the the dropped catch and what was going through your mind? Uh, just cricket, drop <laughs> catch. Yeah, nothing too out of the blue. Was there another one that you mentioned? The, the odd little one that sort of bobbled up and wasn't sure what was going through your mind at that moment. I don't know if you remember it. Bobbled up, bobbled up where? <laughs> it's all right. If you don't remember it, then it's okay. No, well, I'm curious now. <laughs> what happened? Oh, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> the only ball I tried to laugh sweep is a big full tosser. <laughs> just my luck. <laughs> yeah, that was... I'm just glad I didn't get out to it. I almost got out to it. That would have been embarrassing. Osman, it looked like the England bowlers were trying to get into Steve Smith's... Uh, sorry, mate. Into, into Steve Smith's head. Do, do you think that was... Um, that worked, or do you think it was just a good ball? I mean, do you think they did get into his head at all? No, he's batting beautifully. Uh, he got 40 and he looked like he was doing it easy as he as he does a lot of the time. And um, yeah, it was unfortunate. I think he came off his pad, off his bat and went back on the stumps. You know, that happens sometimes, but um, it didn't look like it distracted him anyway. He looked like he was batting really well. What did you make of Craig Overton? Uh, had you played against him before, seen him bowl before? Did you have any research on him beyond what he'd done in this on this tour before, like, how do you um, see that? Yeah, I played. I think I played again against him and his brother a few years back in England. Um, yeah, you, I haven't played a lot. I think that was the first time I played against him. This is probably the second time. Um, you know, he's, he seems like a good bowler. Um, it's hard to really judge people after one game, but he's playing Test cricket. He must be a good bowler. So, yeah. And, and the fact that he got the best batsman in the world out as well must be. Uh, a big bat for him? I think, yeah. I think it'd be quite handy to get the best batsman in the world out for him. This is his first wicket. I'm, I'm sure he'll enjoy it tonight.